Hey yo. Okay. Dude, this is the sketchiest setup ever. I have my lamp holding this up, and then my lamp, since it can't support the weight of my phone, I have my lamp like tied with a HDMI cable to like something on the wall, but then that would come off, so I have that wedge. Anyway, graphics card. A few months ago, I forget exactly when, I posted a video of this 2060, or the Zosat, no, wait, what? The Zotac 3060, non-super, non-TI, nothing special about it. Non-low hash rate, 12 gigabyte, twin edge, whatever, it'll be in the title. Basically, I had an issue with this, like over 70% like total, or maybe, I think it was like 60% total RPM. The, it would just start rattling like crazy. I bought this used, two of these little fan blades broke off. It's, it's a long story, but I looked it up and people suggest wedging like a pen cap, like in between here, like maybe underneath, up top, you know, like all sorts of places. And that's just, you don't want to do that because it just puts pressure on this. Uh, you might bend fins, bending fins isn't that bad. I just don't recommend it. Anyway, I like getting to the center of the problem, still rattling a bit, but I like to see how things work. And I think this is a perfect example of just Zo Zotac having a cheap, ma cheaply made product. Like this isn't, con this, um, whatever plate this is called, the IO is not connected to the, um, the plastic shield in any way. So you get a lot of GPU sag. Like, if you look at this, it's not a completely right angle because I've been using this for so long that it's been sagging like this and bending it, making this more acute and not 90 degrees. So that's one issue. But another issue is the... Can I just do this? Yeah. Well, I'm going to take it off without taking off the fans. So I figured it out because the fans i had to take out the fans to because i was gluing it i didn't want to glue the fan blades to the plastic or like the heat sink because i didn't want it to rip itself off also i just wanted to clean it up because it was pretty dusty when i bought it uh excuse me so There's only four screws, and if you rotate the fans a bit, you can find them, you know? Wow, four tiny screws, and this whole plastic shroud comes off. Great. Not cheap. It is cheap. That, that was sarcasm. Anyway, so my silicone did fall. Oh my gosh, it's still, it didn't dry completely. That's weird. Probably because it's not a lot of surface area to adhere on. Anyway, so what I did to stop the vibrations, or whatever, who cares, these four little things hold that, and then the fans are here, and there's a lot of empty space here, and it's not connected, so this plastic in the middle warps up and down, and it will rattle against this. So when you put a pen cap here, you're really warping this piece of plastic to go inward, so you're forcing the or the space between here to be closer and it won't vibrate as much or if you do the opposite then it'll get further away if you put like a pen cap here or at the top you'll warp it to go like over that and then it'll be putting pressure here and it won't be centered or whatever so what i did is i just filled the gap with silicone i put silicone here 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 you can i don't know if you can see it amongst the dust but if you look Let's see if I can grab it. Okay, here and here. The, the Right here is the main part where you will see the vibrations because it's attached here. So you're fine on this side. But here there's like, there's jack, there's nothing. So yeah, that's how you fix it. You just put some silicone there, put it back on, you're good. And another source is, um, sideways like wobble 
So these, I had to do, I took a long time to do this, but these little um, coin-like stickers on the top have a good amount of weight to them. So when you spin, like if you look at the outside edge and you like bring a, it, or it's like a uncentered bike wheel that goes in and out and in and out. So you need to get this exactly center or it will wobble side to side and anything that's terrible in the card will come, like it will show itself. So you want to get these coins taken off or centered. And these are just ad adhesive, so you can either heat it up with a blow dryer and take them off, or just get a gu guitar pick and just pick it up or something. That's it. Don't forget to replace your thermal paste. I'm probably going to do that. Dang, this is dusty. I did not expect it to be this bad. Anyway, see you guys. I wish you the best of luck.